Preventing future flooding. That's the goal of a major project officially dedicated today along Bray's Bayou. It's happening in the Meyerland area, which has dealt with severe flooding for several years. Jason Miles live inside a new detention basin with the details. Jason. Hey there, Rika. Yeah, this new Meyer Grove detention basin uh, is named after the old apartment complex that used to stand on this site. Now it's basically a big bowl able to hold roughly 20 million gallons of storm water. That's equivalent to about 30 Olympic sized swimming pools. The cut of a ceremonial ribbon marks the completion of a project meant to slash flooding risk. And the way that it works is it takes storm water and it captures it. Harris County Flood Control District Executive Director Tina Peterson gave me the 411 in a one on one interview following a tour with other officials. When the bayou is running high, it captures that storm water and stores it temporarily. And then once the bayou goes down, this basin releases the water back to the bayou. And so as a result, it's, it's protecting the homes, the structures, the businesses around this area. An area still dotted with ghost driveways leading to long demolished homes, while others have been raised after events like Hurricane Harvey in 2017. Every time it rains, I move my car because now I have a car with a ramp and I can't afford to lose it. Sandy Thorne's family lost five cars in Harvey, which fortunately spared her home, which was built higher following Tropical Storm Allison in 2001. I think it probably would have flooded again and again had they not done some of the work that they've done. Purchasing the flood prone property here, removing the apartments and replacing them with a multi-million dollar detention basin was paid for through a combination of funding sources. And is this in correlation or relation to all the other projects along Bray's Bayou specifically? Yes, so the stormwater detention basins that we have throughout Harris County really all work together. And Peterson tells me many, many structures were built along bayous in Houston and Harris County long before current floodplain regulations, which would likely keep them from being built today. Reporting live from Maryland, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Jason Miles giving us good perspective on just how large that basin is. Jason, thank you so much.